So, camber gain, camber intake, camber rise, it's the same thing if it's called these three things. And it's the relations between the bottom arm and the top arm. So ideally, you do want some camber gain when you're going into a corner uh, as you compress and move more and more weight to the outside wheel. You want it to move ever so slightly inward at the top so you, you keep maximizing the contact patch to the racetrack. But as you can see here, this is a stock car and there's a lot of things you can do with a stock car. But first, let's, let's go through what uh, camber gain actually does and how you can apply it. So reducing the camber gain seems impossible here. I will go through how it's not. Um, it will reduce initial steering and uh, reduce uh, sensitivity to steering input. So we'll be less nervous. The more camber gain you have, and this is all in, 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 in corners because in straightaways it, it doesn't really apply, but it's in corners just so we're clear. When you have greater camber gain, like when this moves up, this goes further and further in. You can buy these in different degrees and therefore it will it will have a higher camber gain, but let's not go through that. Um, so the greater the camber gain, like the more this moves the car, the top tire inward, it will increase initial steering and increase sensitivity. So we have a, like a two-faced coin here. You will have increased initial steering, which is nice, but you will also have increased sensitivity to the steering input, so it's not as forgiving. But you say you can't adjust this on a, on a stock car. Well, you can, but one of the things I found it to be uh, very effective in is when you have these steering blocks, when you race like super stock or something, when you can actually change these blocks, this is a zero degrees. Um, if you have a uh, maybe going up to uh, one degrees seems a bit much and the car starts to wash out then you can like this is one of the setup things you can keep the serum and the way you increase your camber gain in the stock here is that you have a shim on top and a shim on bottom that's the normal Kyosho way to, to, to assemble these. But you can force it with another shim on top to just go a little bit further. And that will, I think you can see the, the tire moving in a little bit. So that little change will give you zero point something one or two in um, camber and therefore or also have a steeper camber gain curve. So it will be less intrusive than putting a one degrees in. Um, and we'll, it's just a very fine adjustment um, when you don't have any other options. So that's camber gain for you. Next video.